the time has come for us to use all the potential of the compact disc. To give the public albums that finally make real use of the other advantages the CD presents. About 5% of the data coming off of a compact disc always have been saved for uses other than audio. We can record pictures and text on the disc, then watch them on our TV sets by attaching a simple graphics tuner to our CD player. And with this, we've added to sound a new output for visual information, like liner notes that change in time to the music. Be on my side, oh, be on your side. Super CD systems will come in various forms, all controllable by the viewer. We also suggest, when CD graphics tuners come to market, two other features show up on them. First, for about $5 more cost, an output connector for MIDI output, allowing the hookup of your home synthesizer equipment so it can play La Bamba along with your CD sound version by Los Lobos. And second, for just another $5, we envision a text-only mode, able to give listeners operas, for example, a flood of information, a page a second, to accompany their favorite hit CD album. With 16 channels, we can click through languages faster than Figaro. So, we've suggested a 16-channel tuner, a text mode for rapid-fire multi-channel translations, and MIDI output for the synthesizer set. That's our dream machine. But why should we do it? We already have a hit with CD, that's obvious. Why should the record business and the hardware business mess up a hit product? To record companies, this Super CD gives them an enhanced product. An album that offers consumers new values, not found in 898 albums. Now, at a time when the record business's buyer pool is getting smaller, the record business needs to keep its 1498 value for CDs as a, a realistic price to consumers. That's one thing this Super CD really does, gives extra value that cassettes at 898 do not and cannot. This Super CD is worth at least 1498. Now, something else. Uh, this Super CD is the only form that is really compatible with our current CDs. If you already own a regular CD player, a Super CD plays exactly like regular CDs. For that reason, record companies can ease these augmented CDs into the marketplace at the same $14.98 price, with no double inventory problems. Now to the maker of CD players, a Super CD line is a genuine high-end product for a player line. It's a $400 player in a world that's driven CD prices down to the $250 level. Putting a Super CD tuner in CD video players provides an answer for those 20 minutes of audio only on 5-inch vid clip discs when the TV screen goes blank. For both industries, record companies and hardware companies, the Super CD seems to us to provide a quiet, painless evolution upwards internationalizing our sometimes too national vocalists. Listen to my bluebird laugh. She can't tell you why. Deep within her heart you see. Showing the consumer pictures. There if he wants them, or not if he doesn't. The time you hesitate is through. The time you wallow in the mind. Try now we get away. It's all there for us, isn't it? And pretty soon, some folks will be watching their CDs. Could be interesting. Yeah.